Local news about local people. This is Newslink Indiana. Good morning, I'm Chris Bavender. Thanks for joining us. What initially appeared to be a drowning Thursday has now been ruled a murder and the victim's husband has been charged with her death. Around 345, Randolph County Police received a 911 call of a motorcycle accident and a woman in a pond. Robert Foy told police he pulled his 34-year-old wife Diana from the water and started CPR. The police soon began to question his story. By our officers collected off of Mr. Foy and by the state conservation officer not finding a motorcycle in the pond, we determined that his stories didn't jive up. Diana Foy died at Ball Memorial Hospital early Friday morning. It's the song you hear at the start and end of our news briefs. Newslink Indiana's Lauren Koenig introduces us to the man behind the music. He's known for making subwoofers move and using the loudest, lowest sound possible. Now Ball State Music Engineering senior Aaron Brocken will finally be able to shine. You know, these sounds that we hear that might be not so musical by themselves, but, you know, arranged in an intelligent way and filtered and, and, and you know, recombined in intelligent ways can really create these interesting musical ideas. Sounds we hear every day are some of the things Rockin uses in his electroacoustic composing. He distorts the natural sounds of things such as keys and door locks and can be heard in his recital pieces. He just takes what you tell him and goes further than you ever expect each week. You can just you can just lay everything out for him. He's he's so excited about doing what he does. Rockin's diverse interests are reflected in his work. There's elements of I think every every period in music in 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 my music, whether it's obvious or not, but but I think there's something to be learned from everything. So. In Muncie, Lauren Koenig, Newslink, Indiana. And Brocken will have a recital this Sunday at 5:30 at Pruis Hall on the Ball State campus. Now here's Nicholas Ferreri with a look at our forecast, Nicholas. Thanks, Chris. Good morning, everybody. We're off to a sunshiny start with a temperature in the lower 50s with winds from the east northeast at eight miles per hour. Looking at precision cast, we see clear skies in the forecast for today. That is until we hit the overnight hours when some clouds build in and the storms do as well. By the end of the day tomorrow, we could see about an inch of rain. Our high today, 64 degrees. Chris, back to you. Thanks, Nicholas. That is Newslink Indiana. Join us at 627 Monday night for more news and get local news about local people 24 hours a day at newslinkindiana.com.